Hey everybody, welcome back to my walkthrough of Space Chem. We are on Danopf, the third planet. We are starting the first puzzle. Every day is the first day. Let's get into it. So here's the puzzle. We have hydrogen up here. We have carbon down here. We need to put that into a chain of atoms up here. Hydrogen, single bond to carbon, triple bond to carbon, single bond to hydrogen. So, hints for this level. Hint one, when you hit a bond plus, all your bonders will fire. Second hint, try to start with double bonded carbons. Make your life a lot easier. Third hint, uh, have your Waldos chase each other through the system. It'll make getting your setup and your logic a little easier to organize. So, let's get this set up. We'll get ourselves figured out with the way we want to get organized here. What I'm going to want to do is drag two carbons up, drop them off, then run around, drop off two hydrogens, and with my last hydrogen, I'm not going to let it go immediately. It's going to bond it, drag it over, drop it, and ship it. Let's start with red. We'll have red do an in on beta. We'll have it do a grab. Gosh darn it. Come on. We'll go this way. We'll go up. Drop here. We'll have it do an in here. And we'll have it recycle back in there. And we should do something with the sink, however. Red's a really short ride. What we'll do is we'll set it up this way and then down, and we'll have it sink there. So two out. That should work. We'll have blue chase in from two out. Switch colors. Oops, I don't want to grab drop there. We'll put in a bond, we'll drag it over to here, we'll drop it and send it back around. My start may be in the wrong place, we'll sink, let's see, that's two from the end. That should be alright. Now one of the things I wanted to do was I want to do a bond. Uh, after we've dropped off this blue one, we'll switch colors and we'll do two bonds here. This third bond should set us up. Let's see if I've got it right. So the pattern is blue and red will chase each other, drop off two carbons, come up here, set up two bonds, grab the hydrogen, drop red will drop it off and get itself ready for the next pattern. Blue will come over here, bond it in, drop it. Uh, oh, I need to do an out. Okay, those are too close. Let's step them back one step. There we go. So they drop off. Drops it off. Ships it. And off they go. So, simple enough. And there we go. About average for symbols used. A little better on cycles than the average mob. Not too shabby. So now we go to It Takes Three. It Takes Three requires three hydrogens and one nitrogen to build a single nitrogen hooked to three hydrogen atoms. So some hints for It Takes Three. Well, for starters, your first hint is you're going to have to use a single Waldo to pick up two of the hydrogens. Can't get away from that. Now, how to use that is your second hint. You have to do a crossover. And your third hint is you can actually complete the molecule with a single bond plus command. Okay, so since we need to build three hydrogens to a nitrogen, and hydrogen comes in here, let's make our lives a little easier. Let's reduce our cycles as much as possible. May add some symbols, but we'll see how it goes. 
So the first thing I want to do, we'll start this way. Well, come on. All right, we're going to bring in a hydrogen. We're going to grab it. We're going to come this way. We're going to drop it. Now I'm going to bring in a nitrogen. Come this way. Come up. Drop it. And we can loop back this way. I'm going to leave the start down here. And the reason for that... Well, I'll put it closer. It's because I'm going to want some symbols up here for sync. So we've got red going, and we know it's set up. Now I'm going to want red to have two sinks. This will make sense in a moment. So blue doesn't really have the room over here for what I was thinking of doing. Well, I suppose it does, actually. If I tell it it's done, here. And the reason for this, on the first pass, it's not going to be the most efficient, but it will be more efficient for the other nine. So we're going to bring in on alpha a hydrogen. We're going to grab it. I'm going to bring in another hydrogen once I know it's there. And then I'm going to bond here. Now that I've bonded here, once I get out of the way, which should be here, I can let red go again. I drop the atom here, and I do an out and uh, sigh. That should work. So, here's the plan. We come in, we grab it, we drop one hydrogen atom here, we come down to grab a nitrogen, drop it off, and then sink. We tell blue it's ready to go. It comes through. It does an in on a hydrogen. It grabs it, it does another in to put this one in place, does the bond on the entire atom, comes over here, drops it, and ships it. So blue is waiting. I missed a step. I need to put a grab there. Try that again. So that drops it, comes to this sink. This is ready to go, it bonds up, it ships out, and red starts its process while blue waits, and everything's set, and off it goes. And there we go. So, 195 cycles, 26 symbols, single reactor, not bad. So let's get to split before bond. So, overview of the level. We have a double hydrogen, an H2 up here, coming in on our alpha. We have an O2 and our beta coming in that is double bonded. Oxygen can only have one bond, of, uh, two bonds per molecule or per atom. Our output will be an HOOH, hydrogen peroxide. So our task is to get that output from these inputs. So the answer to this puzzle is the first one You'll need all four bonders on your final build if you want to keep the number of cycles down. Second hint is the normal way to do this involves manipulating the hydrogen atom after you split it. Finally, there's a trick to it. Look up bonder order online if you want to know the details without me walking you through it inch by inch. So the solution to this is, um, well, not obvious. And the reason it's not obvious is because you can do a very complex build for it. You can go absolutely crazy and build out some insane piece. Let me show you what I did on one of my other ones. So here's an example of a machine I built um, on my first playthrough of this game, I'm just trying to figure out how things went. And you can get incredibly complex with setting up your sinks, setting up your manipulation, and a bunch of other things. This was before I learned a few things. So now I'm back in my YouTube playthrough. And what we're gonna do is we're going to manipulate something called bonder order. So each of these bonders has an internal number, one through four, and they will bond in a particular order if they can. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in our hydrogen and our oxygen, so we're gonna figure out what this bonder order is before we do anything else. So we'll do an in, 
Actually, I can do that here. In, grab, up, here. We'll drop it there, and just give me a little room to play in. And for our hydrogen. Okay. So we're just going to drop things off here, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to have blue... Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Wrong button. I'm going to have blue unbond our hydrogen and oxygens, and then I'm going to have it rebond, and I'm going to see how this ends up bonding back up. I only want to do that, though, after I've synced. So I want to make sure they're both in the same state. And after all this is done, I want to pause. And check that out. I have a perfectly built atom. So it goes hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen. And the reason this works is because what happens, it'll fire in the order of bonder one, bonder two, bonder three, bonder four. But what it does is bonder one tries to hook to bonder two. If it can't, it tries to hook to bonder three. If it can't, it tries to hook to bonder four. Uh, later in the game, that goes up to 5, 6, 7, and 8, too, in the bigger reactors. And then it goes down to 2, and 2 tries to go to 1, 2 tries to go to 3, 2 tries to go to 4, etc., etc., etc. Well, actually, I don't think 2 will go to 1, because a single bond command will fire that way. So we have our perfectly built atom right here. So now all we have to do is drop it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sink red here. Um, I'm going to move this out slightly so that we grab on the other side. That grab drop will work. Oops. We'll do an out there. And then red will say it's done. So blue will come in. That's my done sink. Blue comes in, drops off. I don't want to sink here yet. Okay, so the objective here is to make sure my red is on this sink pad before I start doing my unbond and rebond. So one trick to do it is to sink there and sink here. By sinking here, I told it blue has reached this. Now my red will move forward one step. While my blue comes through, drops off, unbonds. Uh, I don't need my pause anymore. And then when I hit this sink, I'll release it from here to grab, drop, out, and I won't need that one anymore. That should work out. Uh, let's get that going as quickly as possible. So if we take a look at this in action. We've synced, drop off, unbond, rebond. Off it goes, grab drop, send it out, repeat. So now he'll hang out waiting for my red to catch up. And there we go. So that's a trick you can use with uh, bonding order. You won't necessarily know what their order is at the start. You'll have to experiment with any reactor. I believe it goes one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. I'm not sure offhand, but it, if you screw with them after the opening, you never know which one's which, so you'll have to play with them. And there we go. 168 cycles, 21 symbols, one reactor. Easy enough. Well, that'll finish this level. Our next level will be settling into the routine. And I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you are enjoying it, please leave a comment or a like or just say hey. Uh, it's always welcome. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.